Hello, welcome to ATX LED. Today we're going to talk about the load center that powers a DC lighting house. In this diagram, you see that we have the power in 110 volts being converted down to a DC voltage, 51, going to a load distribution panel, goes to the switches and goes to the lights. So here's, for example, the back of an ATX LED switch, and these are the cans that are in the ceiling. So here's what it looks like in a real project. Here we have the power supply units that convert the 120 volt input into our DC. Here we have the distribution, which goes out to the wall switches, and the wall switches then connect to the lights. And then our smart hub, which is optional. You don't need internet, you don't need um, cloud to operate the, the lighting in, this, in these houses. Each one of these power bricks can supply 100 watts. And this is a code requirement by the NEC. So we connect each one of these over to an input that goes to our output, and this output load can be 100 watts each. But as you see, we can actually have more outputs and then share that power between multiple outputs. This is also a feature of redundancy, which means that if we have one more power supply than we need for the entire project, should one fail for any reason, we will automatically switch to a backup. So now we have power in, DC out, and DC to the switches. By NEC code, we're limited to 100 watts on every one of these home runs. That translates into 15 light bulbs of six watts each. It also means it could be between one and 15 wall switches controlling any mixture of those combination of lights. The power panel here you see is suitable for around a 1400 square foot house. In theory, you don't really need two of these power units. All of that could happen on one. We spread it out in this demo unit just to show a larger system. You can also add additional power units as you perhaps have more lights uh, in, in, in the project. By having a simple input, our brick then goes to the first power supply, and then it daisy chains to the next power supply. So we don't actually have to have an extension cord or multi-tap in here to be able to power multiple units. Uh, the last one also can generate another 120 volt outlet to plug in something. The panel you're looking at is a Leviton structured media panel, model 47605. These come in different sizes. 14, 21, 28, and 42 inches. And they have a hole pattern, which you see here. And that hole pattern allows us to plug modules into this panel without any screws or anything. So now it becomes really simple to go in and remove the push pins and remove the power spot, should we need to. The automation hub here connects the project to Google, Siri, Alexa, whatever. Again, that's optional. You don't need the hub to do that, but that's the job of the hub. It connects to the internet over ethernet or over Wi-Fi. Uh, these are the control lines that go out to our smart switches. Our smart switches don't use Wi-Fi, uh, so there's no configuration of the switch required when you install operate the uh, the house for the first time. The system is using a really a very efficient method of providing power to the lights and power to fans and power to chargers for phones and laptops. All can be operated off of this low voltage system. These outputs here are available to connect to a PoE switch or internet router, so you can actually operate the uh, system off of um, 
uh, sharing that same power supply with other loads besides lighting and fans and charging. <clears throat> These cables here, this is a project, a working project, and this will be our, our DC feed for a battery backup. Uh, we can plug in the battery backup into one of these inputs and should the mains fail, then the power in the house will uh, drop over to, um, to backup, battery backup. Uh, ATX LED uh, also specializes in what's called tunable white, which is the ability to change the color temperature of a fixture. And you can see that here, I'm gonna change the color to a warm color and then back to a cool color. And this is done from our wall switch. We don't need any internet or cloud to do that. So that is a demonstration of our load center. It's uh, very modular. It's very easy to install. Uh, these are, are obviously plug-in connectors with status lights indicating what's happening. And our load center is monitoring and managing the status of everything in this panel. The power in, the number of loads, everything is all uh, controlled by this. Again, optionally, uh, the lights work great uh, without any cloud interface. Well, thank you for watching and please look at our website for uh, more information. Uh, we have data sheets and instruction wiring manuals online.